Welcome to the That's New News NFL Sunday Kickoff. Well, week two of the NFL season is already here. And as usual, TNN is here to kick off your Sundays in ways you never thought possible. So without further ado, let's get into the action. Well, how about those week one games, you guys? I don't know about you, but I think this season in a lot of ways just seems to be an extension of last season, you know? With no time or place to be out partying this year, it seems like all the good teams got better, whereas all the other shitty teams are just drowning in the toilet bowl of, you know, shit. You know, you're absolutely right, Joseph, and I'm interested to hear your guys' takes on anything interesting that went down last week. Like, uh, what What was some of your thoughts on the performances? Any standout performances? <laughs> you cheeky fucking bastard, you! You didn't actually watch the fucking games, did you? Well, nevertheless, what was one of the big takeaways that you got from week one, Jason? Well, how about a round of applause for my new favorite coach in the NFL, Ron Rivera! This man tackled the job of taking on the Washington Numbnuts in the midst of losing their name, losing their credibility, and losing their season at 3-13 and last year. And in only one game, he turned them into the leaders of the NFC East being the only team with a win after week one. If that's not enough, after falling behind 17-7 to at the half, this man goes in for an IV battling cancer all the while. His second year QB, Dwayne Haskins, gave a raucous halftime speech to lead them into a clutch second half victory, shutting out the Philadelphia Eagles for the entire second half. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that is a direct effect of the classy winning culture that he is implementing in a classless organization. All right, so I may not have watched the games this week, but the rock that I live under isn't that big. So I heard from my buddies from Tucson, Arizona, that the Cardinals took down the defending NFC champs, the San Francisco 49ers this week. Maybe they should stop circle jerking McKinnon and spend more time on the game plan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I know the bird buddies of mine took a little bit of a beating in these recent years, but ye doggy, after the young gun Kyler Murray and the eluded killer DeAndre Hopkins connected 14 times for 151 yards, boys, I'm ready for a Super Bowl run this time around, if you know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't know about you guys, but when I was watching these games, the artificial audience noise was just all over the place, you know? I mean, some teams hired sound guys that didn't seem to know what the fuck they were doing. And others sound like they were just like Skrillex behind the board or some shit, you know? And I mean, the Packers game sounded like a damn funeral out there. Yet I swore that I could have heard the Saints fans boo a kill all out on the field that they didn't like. Yeah. And I'm not too sure if you guys know this, but there wasn't even a damn person in the fucking building. I just want to know how hard it could be to pump in some fake crowd noise. Tell me. Probably not that hard. TNN Inside Scoop. Hey, that's right, it's me, the Minnesota Vikings sound man. I'm here to show you how to get it done. Well, actually, it's really not that hard. I mean, first of all, you gotta wear these stupid ass headphones. Not only do they hurt, but they're, they're kind of a safety hazard, and there's no possible way I can hear somebody sneaking up to try to assassinate me, you know what I mean? Not to mention, you gotta watch all these boring ass games. And I mean, they don't even let you sneak a peek at the Cornhole Championship. What the fuck? That's right, my life's not all peaches and cream, but like I said, nothing gets past me. Cause I know how to get it done. What? What? Oh shit. <laughs> This week in fantasy! Oh! So you're back for more, are you, Timmy? Well, I bet you didn't know that Great Uncle Frank is a die-hard cheesehead. I'm not talking about one of those Madden-type Brett Favre bandwagoners. No, no, no. I've been with them since Nam, boy. Back when they was eating dog shit with the rest of the country. 
But after the Packers had their worst draft in recent memory this past year, making it obvious they plan to kick Mr. Rogers out of his own neighborhood. Well, Mr. Rogers thought it'd be a good idea to throw it back 2014 style. Give him a little spelling lesson once again. R-E-L-A-X. R-E-L-A-X. Relax. We're gonna be okay. Would you fucking relax, guys? I mean, can't the Stooges in the Packers front office get this man a coaching staff that can fucking spell? Oh, anyways, old and moldy Mr. Rogers and Jordy Nelson's successor and melanistic inverse Devontae Adams are a fantasy force to be reckoned with. With old man Rogers throwing for 364 yards and four TDs and Adams hauling in 14 catches for 156 yards and two of those TDs against a good Vikings defense, well, I'm all in. And speaking of, half as old and equally as moldy, Cam Newton is back. But before you blow your loads all over the place, I'm not quite in on the hype train yet. Not as long as he's getting beat as bad as Boy Scouts bottoms on their first nature retreat. But I mean, who knows? Maybe Belichick and uh, good old Josh McDaniels will evolve the offense to where he won't get hit quite as much. Maybe they'll smack all those hits Cam's taken right back at the league, the way the Boy Scouts of America took over the mesothelioma commercials. Either way, take them while you can get them, boys. Cause this man's bound to break down sometime. Ah. Now get out of here, Timmy. Great Uncle Frank's gotta set his lineup. And that was This Week in Fantasy. And finally, one of our most important segments here on TNN NFL Sunday Kickoff. Kicker Lives Matter. This week, we open our arms and open our hearts to the many, many, many kickers that failed to do their job this past week. Don't get me wrong, there were some solid performances this past week, but kickers have seemed to be the most affected position group by COVID-19. Is it because they're scared shitless that they've been labeled at risk due to how unathletic they are? We'd like to think not, but nevertheless, here is to a week to bounce back. For those who are about to kick, we salute you. And that's going to about wrap us up this morning at TNN. We hope you enjoy your Sunday slate of football games. And just remember, Justin Tucker's Still fucking got it. Good day.